Well, good evening. Thank you for joining me, whether it be on Facebook or YouTube. Um, my name is Patrick Warner, and I am going to share a piece of scripture with you tonight and we'll look at it and see how it can be used not only to edify ourselves, but also to en encourage each other. So tonight we're going to be in uh, the book of John. And we're looking at one verse. We're looking at John chapter 16, verse 33. So listen to God's word as I read it to you. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. <clears throat> these words of Christ are perhaps the most encouraging in the, in the book of John. Um, they give us comfort and hope as believers. And I believe Christ is also offering true rest to the world um, so that they can be drawn to him and get to know who God is. So as I talk about this verse, you'll see at the beginning of 33, he says, I have said these things to you, which should indicate that this is the end of a discourse that he was sharing with his disciples. And so I encourage you guys to take five or 10 minutes tonight and read through chapters 15 and 16 to understand the context in which Christ is saying this. Um, and essentially what he's laying out is not only do all people face troubles in their life, Christ is being very open and honest to people who believe and follow him that there's going to be tribulation in a believer's life. There's going to be attacks. There's going to be difficulties because you are a follower of Christ. And I think, I don't think, I know it's okay to acknowledge the pain and tribulation that you feel as a Christian, to be put in different situations and trying to understand how to navigate this world and yet remain loyal to Jesus. That's the very reason why Christ shared these words. It's that we're not dismayed. This statement that he gave in verse 33 is extremely comforting. It's even comforting when you find yourself in a situation in which you don't know what to do next, in which you're still processing the tribulation or the pain that you find yourself in. And what Christ is trying to say is he wants to assure you as a believer that you can have peace that cannot be found anywhere else in this world. It's a peace that only comes from a relationship and a belief in Jesus, a living and real relationship. As a believer, you can rest in the knowledge that God does love and care for you. And Christ himself has assured a place for you in his kingdom. We don't need to be put in a place of anxiety or a place in which we feel like we're in panic. This is a great reminder for me personally, and hopefully it's a, it's a good one for you as well. Christ overcame sin and death. And what he's saying to us is that we have hope because he's overcome that. Have hope for the situations you might be in right now. Or when you find yourself in the future, <clears throat> in tribulation or confusion, have hope within that situation itself, even when you don't understand what the answer is. Because our hope is in Christ and the fact that he is laying out our footsteps in front of us. He is walking with us. And that hope should be in him and not anything in this world, not in ourselves or others. It's in Jesus Christ only. So find Christ and hold tight onto the relationship you have with him. For he keeps his promises. And he's not only our savior, but he's also our Lord. So that's a comforting thing that the God of the universe is there for us. He doesn't forget us, no matter what situation we're in. So hopefully that's a, a comforting um, piece of scripture. It is for me, especially um, kind of what's going on right now for me. Um, 
and it'll happen again over and over in my life, and I'm going to hold on to this verse. So hopefully that was um, edifying, encouraging to you. So as we move forward into this new year, I'm looking to do something a little bit different for the next few weeks or a month. And what I've decided to do is I'm going to be looking at questions that you may have about God or Christ or the Bible. And then I'm going to use scripture to help explain the answers to our questions. And I'm hoping that it's not only going to be informative, but it also be an encouragement for you as we all continue to know God more closely and to be uh, more authentically in a relationship with Jesus. So thank you for joining me. I hope you guys have a blessed week and I look forward to spending time with you guys next week as we enter into a new little mini series. So God bless. I hope you have a great week. I love you guys and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.